Hi, this is foreclosure defense attorney and legal blogger Roy Oppenheim. I want to give everyone a brief overview of what is going on right now in the Florida courts and the Florida legislature as it relates to foreclosure. Uh, we are seeing right now a title shift uh, in terms of what is going on. For example, in Dade Broward and Palm Beach County as well as other counties throughout the state, we are seeing the re-advent of the uh, rocket docket, which means that the courts are once again on a tear to try and get their dockets cleared up. They got new money that has come in from uh, the, the, the federal settlements from the bank through the Attorney General, and so they have brought back these retired judges who are now having one thing in, the, in mind, and that is by any cost, for any purpose, they want to get rid of their dockets and move them. So that means a number of things. One, people will not be in foreclosure for as long as they have been in the past. Two, it means the banks will frequently not be prepared to go to trial, where they may in fact lose at, at trial because they weren't properly prepared and people could end up uh, getting a mortgage actually uh, thrown out, a foreclosure thrown out, and depending on the statute of limitations, they may well even uh, be able to end up remarkably keeping, keeping their home. Other situations will occur where uh, people are uh, preparing to try and negotiate and settle with the bank, and in fact, that because of the rocket docket, uh, they will not be provided that opportunity to do so, and, and people will end up being uh, foreclosed faster than, than they wish. What this has mean for the real estate market in Florida? It means a lot. It means that you will have a new supply of inventory of, of distressed homes coming back to the market, which uh, some realtors like, some realtors don't like. The market has tightened up, and so there aren't really enough uh, listings on the market, so this could bring new listings in the market. It also could bring too many new listings in the, into the market at a, at a price point that is below the market and thus actually uh, preventing prices from continuing to accelerate. Uh, on the one hand, that could be good, but on the other hand, it could actually uh, hurt the real estate market. The other factor that we're seeing is that the state legislature uh, wants to also change the rules of, of civil procedure, the rules of evidence, and basically uh, strip homeowners uh, who are in foreclosure and other folks who are in foreclosure from any of their constitutional rights. We believe that, that these, these legislative initiatives are highly inappropriate. We think that they're a violation of the sanctity, of the separation of powers. Uh, we think that, that they put uh, undue uh, pressure on the judges, and particularly on, on retired judges, to be more concerned about getting the case dispensed with as opposed to dispensing justice. Uh, we also don't like the fact that the case has retroactivity components to it, which are in violation of both the state and, and federal constitutions. And we also don't like the fact that uh, people will effectively be denied due process and that they will be presumed to be guilty effectively as opposed to innocent, as we typically are, uh, we say in, in, in our constitutional construct of, of a fair trial. Uh, these kinds of things are highly inappropriate, and we encourage all of you to uh, call your representatives call your state legislature, call your, your state senators and, 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 and your state reps and let them know that you are opposed to uh, the, this new foreclosure statute that uh, bill that is being proposed by the, the Florida legislature. In other words, we're going to be busy and uh, who, who, who are the winners here? Well, I don't think it's the homeowners. I think in some cases it will be the banks, but I think at the end it's going to be unfortunately guys like me because uh, without an attorney. Uh, you will likely be steamrolled by this new rocket docket and by this new legislative process. So, Roy Oppenheim from the trenches, thank you very much. Have a great day.